So today, I want to show you guys how to start and run your Google My Business listing, start it the right way, uh, maintain it the right way to grow your business as fast as possible. So first, you're going to get up, head over to Google, sign into your Google account. This is mine, and um, I have a bunch of emails up here. So first, you want to click on these nine dots, scroll to the bottom, click on More from Google, scroll down, browse all products for business business profile manage now type your business name um, let's do test for you YouTube business name business category we'll do marketing agency do you want to add a location you can and you just select this how you would like um, do you want to add a location? Um, yeah, no. And then where do you want to serve your customers? We'll do California. Just a just a quick. Uh, we'll do a random phone number. I'll do mine. So I'm gonna fill this in, and you guys fill it fill it in how you guys would. This says want updates and recommendations for your business on Google. I do yes, just to hear what they gotta say. Verify your email or verify your mailing address. You you would put your address in here. I'm obviously not going to show you guys my address, um, but you fill this out how you would. And it should have just asked you to verify a code to that phone number. It, you can either have it call you or send you a text, and you just fill that in. I just didn't want to show you guys my phone number, but we it gives you uh, at. Uh, recommended services to add I would add telemarketing and you know next and everything else you would have in your business change your business hours I'm gonna go open on only on Fridays to make this quick 24 hours uh, you can accept messages I prefer this it is completely free and this call history uh, you can have it on or you can uh, turn it off uh, I, turning it on you could just track who has called you through Google and kinda help you manage your um you know it, if you know google is working for you add a quick description to your business uh, i'm just gonna put marketing agency and then next uh, you can add photos this is a a great way to um build trust with your business i'm just gonna put a picture of me and my truck just put a picture of my truck up there and uh that should be good uh claim your 500 dollars free advertising credit i'm gonna skip for now we that's for more in depth for a google ads video um and then once you're verified it'll it will send you a postcard in the mail and the postcard will have a code on it and you need to uh go when you receive it it'll give you a website to go to verify the email uh, i'm obviously not going to verify this this is not a real business but um, once that comes in the mail, verify it and your business will be appearing on the Google search. Now, once you guys have your Google My Business verified and set up and you're showing up on Google, these are the uh, very, just the main ways to maintain and operate your Google My Business listing so that it ranks higher than everyone else. So first, Google will create a website for you. And on that website, you want to include as many keywords as possible. If you're a service-based business, say you stain fences, you want to have the words staining, fences, painting, fences, uh, restoration for wood, uh, deck, f deck uh, staining, all of these keywords that people will be searching up so that you can rank higher and those keywords are going to be seen by Google and rank you higher for if someone t types in deck staining near me, fence staining near me, wood staining near me. Anything like that, you need to have uh, keywords of locations that you service. Uh, let's say you service Orange County, California, and uh, d um, let's say Denver, Colorado. All of these cities that you service, even the small cities around where you service, they need to be included somewhere in your website. So that when somebody looks up wood staining in Orange County, California, you would pop up first. Another thing is Google reviews. Google reviews is a great way to add more keywords to your business. Um, these five-star reviews, when people are looking for a business to select to complete the service for them, they, they read reviews. I read reviews. All of my customers read my reviews to make sure I'm a good, ethical, hardworking guy that'll get the job done at a reasonable price and uh, on time and just get the work done. So, and when you get these reviews, let's say 
a woman named Martha. You stained her uh, deck or fence or whatever, and she left a five-star review and said, um, I really, uh, you did a great job staining my uh, wood, wood fence, showed up on time, reasonable price, yada, 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 the typical five-star review. <clears throat> you would then want to reply to that review with keywords and a response that is nice and people would read it and say you're a good guy and but also have the keywords in there say hey Martha I appreciate uh, I appreciate the business um, staining your f doing a stain for your deck in Orange County California was my pleasure have those keywords in there pressure washing your house in Orange County California was was, was my pleasure it was a uh, fun time whatever whatever you want to say just make sure those keywords are in there so that Google sees that you do deck staining in Orange County, California. And when people look that up, you would show up top. Photos. You also want to have photos up there. People love photos of, of you, you know, so that they can know what you look like, know who they're calling. Um, I have a wrapped vehicle. I'm sure you've seen on my YouTube channel. I have a, a vehicle that is uh, wrapped for the business with an animated character. Everyone around the town knows that vehicle or will know that vehicle. I just got it done. But when they look up on Google and my photo is that truck, they will click and it'll, they will recognize the truck and they say, oh, I've seen that guy out driving around before. And the other people that are on uh, Google have no, they have no, uh, like it doesn't click in their mind, oh, I know that guy. It's just a random guy. But I, they've seen me before. They trust me just even an ounce more, they'll call me first. So you want reviews, reply to the reviews, keywords in your website, and good photos for your business. Do, that is the main gist of how I operate my Google My Business. I know you can pay people to do all that for you. Um, I personally don't. I just don't think it's that worth it. Maybe if I uh, get so much work that I don't have time to manage it myself, um, I would. I mean, I'd be more than happy to uh, pay someone to manage it for me. But as of right now, I just do not see the need to. But um, yeah, that's pretty much the it for this video um i hope you guys enjoyed i hope this guys gets you more business i hope it breaks it down pretty easily and you guys understand uh how to use google my business to make your business grow i've loved google my business it's complete i haven't spent much money at all except for google ads which honestly the free the free service of google has brought me more work than google ads so uh it works i know it works i, I mean this is i mean i'm proof i i'm, I'm just a little a little kid trying to get some money and it works for me so uh i know it'll work for you guys but um i will i'll see you guys in the next video